Hey guys, welcome to Red 5 -0. Thank you for tuning into another video. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the window tint for your car. I recently got my windows tinted for my 2019 Mustang GT. I personally went with 20% all around, and of course, I did not get my windshield tinted because I did not want to get any risk involved there. As you can see, the windshield is not tinted, even though it's not tinted, it still gets pretty dark, and the nighttime visibly isn't all that bad compared to what you would get if you were to get 5% all around and getting your windshield tinted as well. In my opinion, the window tint looks pretty good and avoids the fishbowl look that you would get without any tints, and I've got some privacy, but also it looks a lot cooler than what I had stock. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing three different types of window tint that you can get for your car. In my case, my 2019 Mustang GT, whatever car you may have, these are the very three most common tints that you're gonna find at any of the reputable shops and which one you should go with. All right, so three types of tint that you can get for your car are gonna be your regular window dye tint, ceramic tint, and carbon tint. Now, before we dive into these three different types of tints, I want to go over why you should tint your car. There's three main reasons. One obviously is the privacy, and then you've got the aesthetics that we've seen earlier that it just completes the look for most cars, and most importantly, the heat rejection. So depending on where you live and what kind of climate you're facing in terms of heat and sun in the summer, like if you're living in, I don't know, Nevada, Arizona, or one of those states where it's just constantly hot, you may want to get a better quality type of tin, which is going to reject a lot of heat. Now, as far as the aesthetics, this is what my 2019 Mustang G looked like before I got my windows tinted. And this is what it looks like after I got the windows tinted. As you can see, it's a completely drastic difference, makes the car look so much better. And especially that I got the red, it contrasts very well with red and black. I already had the blacked out package, so it had like all the black badges, blacked out roof, tint just completes the look. Also, by the way, if you are thinking about getting your windows tinted on your car, make sure you do it at a professional shop because it can be a very tedious process to get your window tinted on your car. And even a slight mistake, if you don't have the proper tool, you can really screw it up and over time it's going to start fading, peeling, and you don't want to have to deal with. Any reputable shop is going to give you a lifetime warranty. so. Get your car tinted there, any mistake that they do, they're in charge of it. Even a couple years down, three years, four years down, you start noticing any bubbling, the peeling, whatever have you, they'll replace it for you free of charge. Now, as we said, there's three different types of commonly found tins on your car. Regular, carbon, and ceramic tin. In terms of aesthetics, they all look the same, with the ceramic being having a little bit of a matte finish. It's considered to be more of the premium one, and you'll see why. So where the differences lie is mainly in the heat rejection, blocking the UV rays, and all of that stuff. Let's dive into the video and cover all three different types of tin and what are the differences. All right, so to start off, we've got the regular dyed tin, which is what I have on my 2019 Mustang GT. This type of tin is pretty much, as the name suggests, regular. It's gonna block some of the UV rays and the sun, obviously, but it does an okay job. Uh, unless you live in an extremely hot climate, this will get the job done. Of course, I got a 20%. The darker you go, the more heat it's going to reject, kind of keeping your interior cooler. Naturally, because of that, it also ends up being the cheapest option you can get for your car. This one is probably going to run you around $180, $200, depending on what shop you go at. There are some that will do a lot cheaper or more expensive, so you just got to do your research to figure out which one works for you. This one can fade in six to eight years, so if you're planning on keeping a car for a very long term, that's something to consider because you may save a couple bucks here and there, but later on the year, 68 years after, we may have to redo the tin, adding to the cost. Next up, we've got the carbon window tin, which is made up of very small little carbon particles. And what it does is not gonna break over time, which means there's gonna be no fading for that compared to the regular window tin. So if you are planning on keeping a car for a very long term, this might be something you wanna go for because you may pay a little bit extra because these can run you around $300, but it's gonna be a lot better in terms of fading. There's gonna be no fading there. On top of that, it also known to block about 40% more UV rays and heat rejection. So your car's gonna be a lot cooler in the summer months and it's not gonna be burning hot with your steering wheel 
shifting knob and all of that stuff. So it may pay off not only because it's not going to fade, but also going to keep your car looking a lot cooler and blocking your blocking some of the UV rays. Now, lastly, we've got the ceramic window tin, which obviously is the most expensive option out there, but this is the top notch window tin you can get for your car. This tin is going to be blocking 99% of the UV rays and heat rejection compared to your regular wind window tin, which in my opinion is insane. If you live in a very, very hot climate, this is the one to get. It obviously also gives you a matte finish, which is going to stand out from other cars on the road, just giving you a little bit more of a premium and luxury feeling. And of course, naturally, this is going to run you the most expensive one, so it's going to cost you about $450 to get, $450 $500 to get the window tinted with the ceramic window tints. Based on the research that I've done for my car before I got my windows tinted and all of that stuff, I think carbon window tint is probably your best bang for your buck. It offers a lot of heat rejection, blocking of UV rays, looks very cool, doesn't break over time, so you don't have to worry about peeling, fading, or any of that stuff. Of course, it's gonna run you slightly more expensive than what a regular tint would, but I think the benefits kind of outweigh the price. Of course, ceramic is the best option out there, but unless it's gonna be a pristine show car condition kind of deal, I don't think you really need a ceramic window tint, spending $500 on a window tint which in my opinion a little absurd. You can spend all of that money going towards mods. Like I said, I went with the regular window tin because I was able to get a deal that I couldn't really refuse only for the regular window tin. And the fact that I've had it before in my cars for more than seven, eight years without any fading, I was able to trust this shop that they're gonna do a great job on this one and the quality of the tin that they use. So even if I end up keeping my car for a long period of time, I'm not gonna run into any issues with the fading or peeling. So guys, I really recommend getting your windows tinted, not only for the privacy and the aesthetics, but also keeping the heat out of the interior cabin. It can make your car feel a lot cooler in the summer months and your interior is going to be a lot more breathable because you're not dealing with tons of hot surfaces. Kind of roll down your windows, hot steering wheel, hot shifter knob, all that crap. It's going to feel a lot nicer in the interior. And of course, like I said, it looks very cool depending on the color of the car you have. It's and completely transform your car. Well, I guess I hope you enjoyed this video on the different types of tin that you can get for your car. And I hope you make the right decision between regular, carbon, and ceramic. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and comment what tin you think is the best bang for your buck. As always, subscribe to Red 5.0 for more videos.